Hey guys, I already recorded this whole video, took everything out of the package, and I went to put it on my computer, and the two thumbnails that I took pictures of were there, and the video was not there, so I don't know what happened. But, I went to Value Village today. I had to take some hairspray over to my friend Dee, the vet. She needed some hairspray, so I took her hairspray over, and then I went to... Value Village, and then I went to Joanne. So let me show you the Value Village stuff. I got a package of some stamps with this old, old Stampin' Up! ink pad, and these scissors, and then all these cute little um, tapes on these little dispensers. So, and they're pretty much full. I remember that was $4.99. The uh, bags were $4.99, $9.99, $12.99, and I think one was $14.99. But I had my 30% off um, coupon thing from donating so much. But look at this one, the horses. That's really cool. So I really don't know how much is on each one, but it looks like it's a pretty good amount. So <clears throat> those were in a pack, and this was in there too, and I'm going to donate this and this back. Um... I don't need money flashcards because apparently I know how to spend it really well. So I know this is crazy. I'm moving. Why in the heck am I buying stamps? Because they had some really good ones. I love this one. This is an Inka Dinka Do. And to me, it looks like water or it could be, you know, like a tree pattern. But I plan on using it as water. And wouldn't that be cool with the uh, Tim Holtz, the Peacock Feathers ink? Now these are all mixed up because I put them in a container to take to Vegas. So they aren't in the same order. Um, Art Impressions from Salem, Oregon. And this originally was $7.50. So this would be fun for Halloween. You could do like a witch's shoe or a uh, Wizard of Oz. This uh, aspen leaf is called Bold Aspen by Hero Arts. Very nice stamp. Uh, this one I got because it reminds me of Alaska. The beautiful trees, the, the spruce and the birch. And this is a PSX stamp and some of those are quite rare and very valuable to Stampers, but I don't know which ones are. Then this, oh, this was in the set with these and this. So, there are a few little ones down here. Stampin' Up. So these were all in that bag. Uh, I was trying to get these in some kind of an order in this container. And what I don't like or don't use, these were all in that same bag. Um, I will either gift or sell on eBay. Uh, let's get some more. These were what I was calling the travel stamps, the travel set. I think these were all in the same bag. Here is one of the Earth. And that's the name of it, Earth. And that is a Dakin Incorporated stamp. Pretty cool. Le Vigilant. You like my attempt at French? That is a tin can mail. Um, there are several of those in here, and they're really neat. I had never heard of that brand before, because I'm relatively new to this, probably within the last four or five years. And then a guinea stamp. I just love this. I love the camels and the palm tree and the old plain. Reminds me of Casablanca. And that is also tin can mail stamp. So I love that. And then this one is the Vatican. So that's interesting. Maybe I can make a card for my mother-in-law because she is a devout Catholic. And Roman Catholic. Here is another map 
of the Earth stamp. I just love this. And that is from Toy Box. No price sticker on that. And of course, you know I had to get it because of this. This Alaska stamp. And that's the same tin can mailman. Love it. And here's another one with the palm tree. Because I'm going to be in Vegas. Oh. Let me go turn that off. Do the laundry. That thing will keep beeping. I think it beeps like four times, and Mike tried to disable it and was not successful. Oh, and then this one. And I was reading it, and I realized that's my birthday, October 29th. Now, I'm old, but I was not born in 1927. So that's where the 1029 of my channel name comes from. Okay, so let's get some more. Oh, and then this one. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, we'll do these. I'm trying to remember which ones work together and... I don't think I'm going to, but these are more Alaska style stamps. This looks exactly like the birch trees here in Alaska. So this would be really cool. Which way does it go? I think it goes this way. Yeah. This would be really cool to do either in fall colors or summer colors. And that is 2003 <clears throat> rubber monger. It's huge. Looks like it's been well used, but it's in good condition. A totem pole. Very Alaskan. And that's the PSX stamp. Again, I don't know which ones are rare and valuable, but I got, I had to get this with the uh, Black Raven in it. I love ravens. And that was originally 1050. And then um, in one of the packs was this great big stamp. Um, beautiful tree with the birds. It's another PSX. That looks like it wasn't even used. This beautiful mermaid. They tried to put them in bags and themes, but of course I already took them apart and ducks in a row stamp. Should be fun to color. Again in that beautiful blue. Then this, I may have this stamp already. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a PSX bucket of tulips. But that has been used. This will be really cool for a Halloween card or, you know, something with Halloween. Um, Art Impressions, and it was originally $12.20. It's one of two. I wonder what the second one was like. Here is a roller. Um, roll graph, leafy border. These are really fun to use. Um, I have the, the roller part, a Stampin' Up! one. So, then a seashell, this is Stampin' Up, the name is just barely visible right there, and there, here's another one of those Rorschach stamps, I have no idea what it is, but it's a Stampin' Up, and that has been used, so I don't know if it's supposed to be flowers or what, but leave your guess below. Here is a goose. There's Mike's goose. Gidget. Mostly animals. And I have to restart the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, here's another seashell. And that is a rubber stampede. Whoops, and another one. And 
This would be perfect for Christmas. Look at that tree. Isn't that beautiful? Could stamp it in um, a green ink and then add some dimension with markers. Stampendous. That looks like it was unused as well. There goes my computer making noise. And then this mermaid. This is really cool. I guess she does go this way. This is very cool. Mermaid number two. Paula Best. That was $11. So I like that. And then I have a few small stamps in here. Um, just real pretty flowers. And that is Flower Border. Waiting to see if that's going to focus. Maybe it already has. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Uh, Dakin, the kind. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This is Dawn Hauser from Inka Dinka Doo. Whoop. Uh, Boa Slipper. Ooh la. <coughs> and that was used. Here's a pocket watch. And this was originally $8, Inka Dinka Do. As you can see, these, especially these older wooden stamps, wooden rubber stamps, hold up really well. Um, here's the second Rorschach stamp. So here you go, guys. Left and right, you tell me what you think they are. And then... Um, these two floral Stampin' Up! stamps. A little leaf. And then this teddy bear little round stamp. So, that was my stamp haul. Uh, let me get these out of the way so I can show you what I got at Joanne. So then after after dropping the hairspray off for D and going to Value Village, I stopped at Joanne's because I need more stuff to move to Las Vegas, don't you know? So I got some more stickers for my planner. I got these tweeting birds. Really cute. These were on sale. They were in the teacher section. Really uh, cute. 110 stickers for, they were on sale at $1.97. And I got one for Sujay. I really like those. I got another one of these um, pops and more poolside pops and more sticker book because once I get to Vegas, I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the pool until I don't know September, October, maybe. So isn't he cute? That reminds me of when we went to Boston and to Virginia. Got some smelly stickers, popcorn scent, because I love popcorn and I eat it rarely. The only time I eat it is when we go to the movies. Um, this was in the clearance, um, 97 cents for this Anna Griffin eyelet stripe cuddle bug uh, embossing folder. And it has this stripe that you can stick in the middle. So here is the big embossing folder and then the stripe. That goes along and that just called eyelet stripe for a buck um, and then they have these we are memory keepers nesting dies so this is the poppy version these were $9.97 and that's what they look like so you can just cut out you know multiple you could do one piece of each size or you could do multiple ones to get a really full poppy. And then I got the daisy one as well. It was uh, $9.97. So those were $10 a piece. These are usually pretty expensive, $20 to $30. And I can't wait to be able to get my um, big shot out and start making some cards. Then I got two washi tape. I got the... This, I love this blue. That's my favorite blue. That chevron and then the cupcakes. These are really good for summer. If we ever get summer back. So those were on sale 40% off. That's the Sandy Lion. Uh, this was in the, the, you know, where they have these 
and all the kids stuff, the cheap stuff. So this little packet of trim, I love the colors, six pieces, one yard each, so it was six yards for $2.99. And I especially love the green and orange together. Well, I love them all, but I love hot pink and orange together. I told Kate at the salon that a few years ago. She thought I was crazy. And then she started loving it. And then I used my 50% off coupon on the Marvy Le Pen set. It's the fine point in the brilliant. And so I got these for my planner. I thought these would be fun, fun summer colors for all of these to coordinate. So, well, we got that through that pretty well. It went faster because I didn't have to unpack everything. But that is my insane... Value Village and Joanne's Hall. So thanks for watching you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. It's Thursday today. I'll upload this um, Friday morning. So I hope you had a great week and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will just talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks guys, bye bye. Hey guys, instead of just showing you what I buy for my food journal, this is my food journal. And um, my planner, I thought I'd show you what I have done. Um, so this is for tomorrow. And I always put some kind of like a coffee cup in the corner because I drink coffee every morning. That's my breakfast. I drink coffee with some protein shake, either half and half or heavy cream and some butter. So I want to eat a high fat diet. And these Sujay made for me, the little coffee cream, or the little coffee cups. And she made these for me as well, the weekend sticker. And so just different washi tape. And I like to put encouraging um, messages on. I just did this this morning and I haven't put my encouraging message on yet. But um, I love these, uh, these slightly elevated um, ladybug stickers. There's another coffee cup. My sister Barb loves uh, ladybugs, so whenever I see them I think of her and I love my sister. She is so sweet. So these I keep pretty plain just to be able to write my food down. I had actually skipped this page there. These had stuck together, so I, I did this yesterday. Um, but just really cute. This is some of the um, washi tape that Sujay sent me in that last big box. And then these are just kind of mirror images, except these are the little um, encouraging words are different in the little bugs. But so that's as far as I've gotten um, in my food journal. So then let me show you my planner and what I've done this is my planner and I have it chock full of stuff here are all the um, the stickers that Sujay's made for me well that was the last um, group of them other ones I have in a container but um, and then I have these things that I laminated And I just have June written on here with that wet erase marker. A shopping list that I laminated and hole punched for my planner. And so here is this week's. And I started using these um, little marker or little stickers. So I have to put some decorations on here. But so Walmart pack video, passport, minivan, dinner at Lavelle's, return dog crate, pack clothes, hump day, because it was Wednesday. Sujay made me these and these. And uh, today, that was D, post office. I didn't make it to the post office. I did make it to Value Village. Mike has golf tomorrow, and the contractor comes on Saturday. And I just have some of this washi tape on the bottom. Uh, 
for my stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> I see the chiropractor on Monday and there's Father's Day. So I wrote how I was too fat. And oh, I suppose I shouldn't be showing full names. But uh, this is back in May. And that was my dad's birthday. He would have been 96. And just cute little stickers and washi tape. And uh, yeah. So I just wanted to show you quickly um, how I've been doing my planner and I started using these now that uh, Suji sent me a bunch of them and I really like them and so that's it I don't know do I have any other ones I want to show you like those and those That was kind of a fun page. I just really loaded it up with washi and stickers and it's just fun. So Mary Ellen, yes, you should decorate your planner. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.